Hey guys, do you know what time it is? Of course it is. It's Doki time! <laughs> yep, we're back again. So, hey everybody, it's Steven and Skeeper, I found Triple Threes, and welcome back to Doki Doki Lurja Club in mods. So, before we get this started, you, I know from reason I'm sure why I had to play this for today, because usually I play Doki Doki Lurja Club for the weekends, for, but this is, uh, and actually, how do I say this? This is gonna be a special video for today, because today, it's Valentine's Day, so what's a good choice to play go on Valentine's Day by playing again for Toki Toki Lucha Club for it? But anyways, I'm going to replay again for... I mean, I know I played this one like many times in a row, but... I mean, it's Valentine's Day, so what the heck for it? So, what happened for the last video, last part, exactly, is we have somehow saved Sayori but not letting her hang herself, the reason, uh, how we save her, because uh, we somehow asked her to have a sleepover. And then the main character, which is myself, have an experience in some strange images that he might witness, and he can't let anything happen for it. That's meaning, like, what's gonna happen from this game, like, like, everything's going to happen, like, say, always gonna be hang, you always gonna kill us, stabbing herself, and for Yatsuki and Nasha, she will get deleted from Monica, no reason for sure, well, but just, but I know that Natsuki have been abused from her father, and for Monica, it's always just Monica for it. So, hope you have a good time for having a Valentine's Day while you've been watching this, but, uh, for this mod, I'm pretty sure that this next part is gonna be, well, this is the act two, I will say, there was actually act, but usually it was kind of part of me playing Doki Doki Lurja Club for it. So, anyways, for this part, I'm pretty sure we have to save Yuri, but someone tried to stab in ourselves before anything happens for it, which I don't know how to take for it. And probably, if there's more secrets for this one, like I know the last time, I skipped for a bit. So, let's just see what happens. If, if any secrets I can find, so I'm just gonna stop You're skipping it for it. And, uh, and find the part where exactly. I think this is the part where that you will make confession to the main characters. I think that's what it is. But you simply yes and no for it. And that's what happens that you will could kill yourself for it. And also, one last thing before I start. This picture from Yuri, I'm pretty sure that Yuri is holding a book. I'm pretty sure this must be a portrait of Markov. One question is, what is portrait of Markov exactly? Why is it Yuri got that book in the first place? We have no idea. There's still a clue I need to find. So anyway, enough talking! So let's get started. Oh, before I get this started, I'm gonna try and make a poem from Yuri, because that's what I'm planning to do for it. I mean, this is for Yuri's stuff, but we're trying to save Yuri before she's trying to stab herself. Let's see. I know for Yuri that she wants something dark. Mm, hopefully I'm not gonna get jump scared for it. Extraordinary, really. Let's see. Depression? Yeah, she likes depression. Shame. Climax. Existence. Grief. Have a scent. I'm pretty sure this last one is gonna be a jump scare, isn't it? Okay, they're not. Wait, this was due? I've never seen that before. What is it? Okay, you lead me back to the poem. This is new for this month. I've never seen that done that before. Okay, it say help me blah blah blah. I think it's supposed to say Sayori. So if I press that, that will just just skip over the part to get to the poem for exactly. Okay, we got nothing to worry about then. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, okay. Can you hear me? Okay, this is the poem I just get for it. This is the last time I did. And next thing happened when I clicked it, it's in my laugh. 
It is left. It's key for Monica then. Let me just save. Duh, duh. A time for another probe. Duh, duh. It's a destinator. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? S there's someone j jumping underneath. That's Monica. There's no doubt there's Monica for it. Electricity? See, it's happening again! It's happening again! I'm not lying! Seriously! Okay, I'm trying to stay back for it because I'm not the last time I will get jump scared from the, the face of Sayoris. Just to let you know. Oh, there's another Yuri. Not the way of faith expression. Okay, this is getting creepy. Okay, no more jump scares. Okay, I did. I know the last time I did, I was. It was the part that you always talked about what happened for Monica exactly. But I know I just skipped for it. I'm sorry. I don't have time for it. So I'm just gonna read it the last time I did. Here it comes. Yeah, I'm going to read what everything what she said about exactly what the reason why I just skip for it. Let's see. <clears throat> um Wait. How did I Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything. Right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing in anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean... Okay, this, I don't know this dark part exactly. Everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing others those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So, I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. In the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Is it because of me that you totally obsessed with me because I want to become a crazy lunatic and stab yourself, Yuri? Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It's overwhelming me with energy and emotion that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening, Steven. Is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? Yes, that's because she knew everything. She knows what's going to happen. Because after all, she's part games. Everything is a, nothing about the games. You know that. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Yep, you're kind of crazy, guys, then. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. And the beating happened again. I don't know what that just sound. There's a strange shadow from. Oh my gosh. I just saw there's a strange eye to appear for it. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. Then. And then, we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Oh my gosh, her eyes are still there. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. No, it's not a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house and sometimes I can show you my collection. I got them all up from various artisms. 
I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you is that did have for some knife because she have like a weird knife section. She she said she have a collection of knives for you, which I don't know how many knives does she have exactly. Like hundreds, thousands. I'm curious how when how and when did she get those knives exactly? How did she do it? Like I don't know what the heck just happened. I'm so confused about Yuri. Don't in the background for any of the girls. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Lucha Club, Steven. And now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Lucha Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the other pathetic child. How dare you, Yuri! Even though after what happened you said I had to play this video, you said so mean to Natsuki. I don't like you very much. That's the reason you become the last person. We can walk home together every day and after school. And we eat together, eat together, sleep together. Does it sound perfect? Oh my gosh, here comes Monica. What's she gonna do exactly? Isn't that why she joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. No, this is not the happy ending for it. We the happy ending is actually to save you, Yuri. And Monica's are blocking my way for the text, so hopefully they didn't pick for it. Will you, will you do that with me, Steven? Well, um... Okay, instead of standing around, now we just do a shame and stuff, exactly. <laughs> okay, why don't we go to Yuri? Okay, this is the part that Yui stabbed herself. Either if I say yes or no, but she was still gonna kill herself for it. So what am I gonna do if I'm actually gonna say yes? I mean, that was supposed to do. I had to save Yui before she's trying to stab herself. Which, hopefully the mods will kick in. <laughs> Time to act. Smack her hand? Okay, either I had to smack her head before she's trying to pull out her knife, or just be silent and let her do the trick. But right now, let's just smack her. Let's smack her hand. Smack! I smack Yuri's hand with force. I mean, how else can I stop her if she doesn't listen to me? She was going to... Hey, that's not very nice. That really hurts me. But it's fine. I don't like that about you anyway. That's enough! Okay, now my main character's finally got another control for it. He's now he's no longer himself, but someone's being silent for no reason for sure. After all been doing it for act two, but did let the girls and let this talk and me? I can't do the talking. I cannot control myself. As if I was being controlled, unable to move by myself. Do you even love me? Uh, of course I do. What kind of- And how far are you willing to go for me? Tell me. Eh? I will do anything for you. Even I ask you to commit suicide. Yui doesn't even hesitate. She grabs a knife off the ground and points it at herself. Really? Oh, come on! I told you to- <sighs> What pleasure! Yui, listen. You should know what to do for me. It's me. That thought leads me along. Alone, facing you that I didn't even know exist. A lot of things are going in and out of my mind at once. And I only have one opportunity. Just one. If I don't choose my next action carefully, I could ruin everything. It's time to be a hero, Steven. MC, cut yourself. Cut yourself. This all exactly the same word with the cut, cut yourself, but except, except the point is a different word. If I say MC, cut yourself, I'm saying the word cut yourself. And you actually gonna go stab herself for it, which is a bad thing. But if I press cut yourself, will that mean I had to take action by simply just cut myself for it? You know what? I'm just gonna do it. I'll take action. Not for saying it. Before Yui can raise the knife to herself, I rush towards her. I am grasping the knife tightly in my hand. Oh, wait, what? Did he do like? I know last time that Yui holds a knife like this. Like, the, the knife blade right here, and the handles right here, and uh, the main character is uh, holding the knife like this. I think that's what he's trying to do. I need to use both hands. But that like, will get really painful for it. 
but not by the grip. A sharp pain runs through my hand, from my palm to my fingers. A pain sharp enough I can practically hear my fingers screaming at me to release the knife. But I ignore it. Because there are things that I have to be protected. <sighs> I can't open my eyes. Unlike Yuri, I'm not used to this much pain. So all I can do is to concentrate my strength on my hand. Yeah, go get it, me. Well, myself. Don't do anything to Yuri. Please don't get killed yourself. Yuri is still trying to regain control of the knife from my grip. But after each attempt, she, grow, she grows less confident. Steven... Why? I don't know. I could know. There's no way I can even fathom what's come over me. I don't know how to answer, but that's why I can't release this knife. Because I need to know my answer. And if I give up, this will have all been for nothing. Please, Steven, let me do this. No! There's no way I can let you do this. Not after confessing to me. Not when you hadn't even answered my answer. If you're going to confess, please at least hear what I have to say. With the remaining strength I have left, my hand won't go any further. I release a knife. Oh no. Yuri, I couldn't. The second of a, the sound of the steel clashing against the ground interrupts me. Oh, did she did it? Did we save Yuri? I open my eyes forcefully. And there she is. Oh, now I'm unsafe. Oh, yes, I did it. I saved Yui, but instead, my hands were somehow got bleeding from cutting. Why? After all the terrible things I've done, why are you making me go on? I took you for myself. I hurt Natsuki. I even completely cut off Monica. Just so I could spend a little more time with you. Isn't that just crazy? I am mentally unstable. There's no way anyone would want to spend time with me. I even cut myself when no one is looking. Oh yeah, the, her sleeves. The, she's been hiding from them. You know, with a... I don't know why she wanted to cut her sleeve. Cut herself, exactly. That's what I said the other day. She wasn't just throwing around insults. I used my own blood and even touched myself to the poem. Wait, the, the bloody problem you showed me the last... That's me? I really rotten, aren't I? So why? What is it about this that makes you refuse to let me go? You had not even known me for that long, have you? So... Why? I bring Yuri's arm towards me and raise her sleeve, revealing all her wounds. Oh, she... This has to hurt. Now we finally reveal her own sleeves! Nice! I mean, not saying, but painful. That's... That's not really good. I don't know how she survive when she, her arms are like cuts. It's... Not that bad. I... I only do it because it gives me pleasure, after all. I take some per peroxide and some bandages from the utility closet. And start applying them to the wounds. Yuri flinches a little. This will help to make sure your cuts don't get infected. At least good thing is, in this school have any uh, emergency first aid kit for it. Because you know what happens when someone's injured. Unless they're in the chemistry stuff. Or science stuff. I don't know. Any school, you know. So try to bear with it. And sit still, okay? Yui doesn't say anything. Restrict restricted to see me trying to take care of the cuts, Yui watches in silence. Once I have them all covered shortly after, I proceed to wrap her arm in bandages. There. Done. I enjoyed it a little, you know? I was kind of hoping that the treatment would go on forever. Yeah, I can imagine. Then why keep going if you know it? Why do you treat them when you know I was enjoying it? Because if that's what makes you happy, so be it. Who am I to judge? I speak when I feel about this. It's true that cutting yourself isn't healthy. And it's not going to help you with anything. Yet, what am I supposed to do? Scream? Make fuss? As if that will solve anything. Yui needs to change. I'm pretty sure she knows that much already. So, it won't do any good changing her lifestyle so abruptly like that. 
Aside from the obvious, what she really needs is to have someone she can communicate with about these things. Someone she can always rely on whenever she feels lost or confused. And if I happen to be that someone, they'll play the cards I'm dealt. Yuri? Y yes? Could you try to let me know whenever you consider harming yourself? Please. And I really don't mind you wanting to be around me all the time. In fact, I think I've actually grown used to it by now. <laughs> even, even if I can't control myself and end up hurting everyone else, we'll work on that together. But for the time being, all I can ask of you is to do your best. And if you step away too out of the line, I'll just think about something then. I'll say then with a playful tone, trying to ease the situation. I can't tell if it's working or not though. Steven? What is it, Yuri? Please, don't answer my previous question yet. I have this feeling inside of me. About this confession? I don't really know exactly what it is, but it's growing. I think I realized that I don't love you as I thought I did. What a letdown. I say that while faking a sigh. <sighs> <laughs> but I think I understand that. I'm starting to love you for real. Hearing Yui say that so bluntly makes my heart skip a beat. My face is growing increasingly red too. I bet. Oh man, my main character is uh, blushing. Even myself. I'm not blushing for Yui for it because she's the last person in the favorite. Don't worry. When that time comes, I'll hear her out. It's the least I could do for her. After Yui and I are bonded like this, I should be at her side whenever I can. Just as. Just as anyone would expect it, a friend to be. What the heck did just happen? It just the next time it changes. You have to promise me though, that you won't do anything too stupid until then, at least. Okay? I can't wait for you here, but not if you decide to leave me one day. You asking for something really difficult here. How selfish of you. But I promise. I promise I won't disappear, at least not until I sort out my true feelings for you. With that being said, Yuri packs her things up and stands in the front of the knife. I guess this is goodbye. I don't know if I should even thank you. Nothing has really even changed yet. But this night gave you a chance to really meet Steven. Wait, 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 what? Are you talking about the main character or me while playing? And to prove myself that I can go on, even when I'm broken, to say the least. We did it, right? Thank you, Steven. And you too, other Steven. You is talking to me! You is talking to me that make the choice! Whoa, 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 ha <laughs> That was amazing! We see Yuri too. She has had to live a very strange and confusing life. You know, she has always been a little off. Well, by normal people's standards at least. It has been the hardest situation she had to endure yet. I just can't believe it I ever got to this point. This isn't over yet. There's still much left to fix, but I can't stop it alone. Most importantly, it's up to you, okay? I believe in you. Okay, pretty sure we'd save Yui, but not getting the cut. Uh, Yui is character deleted. Will it change it? Will it back to the main menu? I wonder what happens. They're not here! The, now the only main the characters left is Monica and Natsuki. So, for, I appreciate sure the next point, we're going to have a hanging out with Natsuki because that's the only way for do for it. For, but anyway guys, I'm going to leave it for now huh, because this is act to finish it. Now we're going to the third act, which is we're going to spend some time with Natsuki, which is hopefully we're going to save Natsuki from anything what any necessary for it. I think that Natsuki's problem having but her father the somehow she don't that he don't like for what she do for exactly like yes she should do manga she like making cupcakes and some sweets for it so I don't know what's the deal about her father what is it that she that he did to her exactly there's gotta be some backstories that I don't even know from 
those girls exactly. But anyway, Yui's finished. Now it's only left for Monica and Natsuki for it. So picture sure next one's gonna be Natsuki for it because that's what we're going to do for it. But yeah, if you want to check out how you get the mod, I'll put the link in the description for there's a website you can find, but get the mod exactly for it. And don't forget, if you want to know how you're gonna get the game, it's on for Steam, it's all for free. Do whatever you wanted to. If you want to play it before you're gonna do the mod, you have to get the, the happy ending for it. That's the only way you can do it for it. But anyway, guys, that pretty much it for Toki Toki Lucha Club and the special Valentine's Day for it. I hope you have a fantastic day for Valentine's Day. So if you like this video, hit the like button too. Light them up if you want to see my videos. So check out the other videos and go subscribe. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Happy Valentine's, everybody!